you guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be starting off in target's dollar spot with these coffin flasks they're only three dollars and they were plastic they also had these skeleton hand flutes and they were so nice you guys make sure you keep watching because we are also going to be showing you all of the threshold items that they have this year for the halloween collection and for fall and I can't wait to get to that part of the video. But for now, we're still in the dollar spot. And let me show you these beautiful glasses. These are going to fly off the shelf, you guys, because they're so detailed. They were plastic. They're only $3. But the detail on these is, like, insane. They had these signs and I thought they were really cute. When I bring you in a little bit closer, you're gonna see that it's fabric on the back of these. And I thought that was really nice. And they had two other signs as well and they were all $3. And if you like how I take you guys in really close to see the details of these items, then please comment the word detail below. Next on to the pillows, you guys. I've been looking for these pillows. I've been seeing them all over Instagram, so I'm really glad that I was able to bump into them, and I found a lot of them, so that was great. They have these really cute tassels on the end of them, and these will go well with a lot of the threshold items that they have, you guys. I love how they match Target's dollar spot to what is to come in threshold, so you can always kind of figure out what kind of stuff or what the vibe is gonna be. Um, so yeah, you can do like high, low, and get some stuff from the dollar spot, and also get some stuff from the Threshold Collection and know that it's going to go together cohesively, so I really like that they think ahead for that. They had these pumpkin topiaries, and I thought that this looked like a bell pepper, to be honest with you. <laughs> I can't get past like green pumpkins, but... If that's your jam, they have them. And they also had these really cute mushrooms. And I love how they're bringing mushrooms into fall decor. And it's not all about the pumpkins. Next, they had these ceramic paintable pumpkins. And they actually lit up. So I thought that that was a really cool. You could paint these with the kids or have like a paint party or something like that. It would be a fun way to hang out. And they also had this little haunted house as well. You could also paint these black and put them in your home decor like I did in my last video with some of the haunted carnival items that they had in the dollar spot this year. They also have these cute little birds, you guys. It's actually blue clay, so I thought that was a nice fabric choice. His wings are faux leather, and then he has the little moon and stars on the bag. But look at those little skinny legs. <laughs> they also had this Frankenstein cat. And then they had this little bat as well, and all of these items were $3. Next, they had this ghost and it was glass. So I love that the cloche was glass. You could put whatever you want in here. I would probably leave it empty. Um, you could put like faux spider webs, but it was only $5. The bottom of it was like this black painted wood. And I really just like how high end it felt in my hands because it was glass. So you could put a candle in here if you want to and then put the little ghost on top so that you can put the candle out. They also had this globe. It was glass as well for $5. They call it a container, um, but it looks like one of the little uh, fortune teller globes. But I love when they bring these for Christmas as well because they bring them in like the little snow globes. And then they also had a lot of the small little figurines if you're wanting to make like a little hunted village or something like that. You could put some of these items in the globes that we just saw or inside of the little glass ghosts. So I thought that these were really neat as well. And they're all $1.
I really like how much detail they put into these because you can see the little skeleton's bones and when you turn them around to the back it's even front and back so you can see like the back of his bones and everything so I thought it was really cool that they put that much detail in them for one dollar figurines. And now we are off to Threshold, you guys. They had so many of the things and it was so nice, you guys. Starting out with this plate and again with the detail, bringing you in close and you can see all of the texture that they have. It's so nice. This just a bite one I thought was really pretty and see how it has like the little blood coming off the fangs. They're all ceramic, you guys, and this bowl was pretty big. Some of the things I didn't even pick up because of how heavy it was, and I did not want to break it. So <laughs> some of them I'm just going to show you an overview of, but um, they were really nice and really nice quality. Look at how the embossing is on the Happy Halloween. Gorgeous. I also love how irregular the rounding of the plate is and I feel like it just brings it to such a higher level than what you would expect for the price tags in Target. They also had this vase and I'm guessing it was like a dead rose vase or whatever. Um, I really like the satin look to the roses and this one was ten dollars now you guys some of the things in the threshold line they don't put a price tag on which was a little frustrating for me because you guys know i want to show you the price of everything including this cauldron which it did have the price tag on it was huge and really really heavy but i was determined to make sure that i showed you guys how much this one cost so i did <laughs> But for anything that is not in the video um, with the price tag or pretty much everything that I can, I'll go ahead and link it below so that you guys will be able to quickly access it and purchase it before it sells out. They had these really nice table runners that I thought were also really, really pretty. And this is what they look like up close. And they also had another one as well with a little ghost on it. And they're both $15. Here they had some really nice napkin sets to match some of the plates that they had. So I thought these were really nice as well. Target is really getting you guys together for any of the Halloween parties that you might have. Or even just for Thanksgiving because they did have a lot of nice things as well for fall in general. These faux leather coasters I thought were really pretty as well. And I just like how simple they are with just a little gold spider on there. And they were $5. It's given Target's dollar spot pricing. So that was great. <laughs> Here again with more of the plating and all of the texture and embossing. So I thought these were really nice. And I loved you guys. I love these cocktail picks. Just little stirrers to fancy up your drink for any of your Halloween get togethers that you're going to have. And $8 I thought was an amazing price. They also had these placemats and they were faux leather as well and they were only $5 also. I love a fancy drink you guys and all fancy drinks must have cute ice cubes. So they have these pumpkin ones for $10 and I really like these. They also had a lot of potted, I guess this is like a dead fern and it was $20. I don't know about that price. I love the vase and the texture on it, but definitely seems like something I could DIY. However, this snake candelabra, I'm not gonna lie you guys, I don't really decorate for Halloween because it's kind of scary for me. I'm like such a wuss when it comes to that type of stuff, 
But if you do decorate for Halloween, I think that this is so cool. Like if you can stand seeing that out of the corner of your eye, like on your mantle while you're watching TV, <laughs> go for it. This is for you. I could not, but I thought it was really cool. As we know, Threshold always has really good pillows and this year they did not let us down at all. I like this one again <laughs> it's kind of scaring me a little bit but because <laughs> his eyes look like they follow you but this one would be more like calm for me like with the little spiders on there and they have the jewels and they kind of shine in the light so those are really pretty as well but then again I'm like an arachnophobic so I don't know <laughs> But um, this one was cute and it was definitely giving into like the full Halloween colors, but I thought it was a nice play on it and it was solid on the other side. Now, I loved these pumpkins, you guys. I could not tell that these were actually glass. I thought it was going to be something else, but they said it was glass and if you want to light them, they do suggest just putting some lights underneath them. So they were really pretty and I bet the hue that it gives off is really nice. They had two sizes, the bigger one was 15 and the smaller one was 10. They also had this spooky wreath that was really pretty as well. It was $20 and then it has the blacks and burgundies in there. It was really deep and a really mature take on a Halloween wreath. They also had more of the potted plants as well. This one was pretty much like the other one, just a little bit smaller and it was $15. These candlesticks were really, really nice. It was kind of like a brownish burgundy color and they were wooden. And then this pillar candle was so pretty. I haven't really seen any of the twisted pillar candles. They've mostly been candlesticks, so this was very welcomed. And then I actually found that they had a smaller candlestick holder to go with the bigger ones. So that would be nice to have a set of three. And next they brought back the small glass pumpkins that they had last year for fall, except this time they have them in black for Halloween. It smelled beautiful. And then we moved on to these pillows. You guys, this pillow was so cute. The texture was texturing. Like, I love how much texture it was. And then they also had this one that was giving more of an apothecary vibe. And it had the textured spider on there as well. And then they had these, like, snack holders, I guess is what they would probably be. But the skull had, like, so much detail and I really like that. They had these glasses that were actually not glasses, you guys. This is plastic, so you don't really have to worry about having any parties and people breaking your things because it's just going to bounce if you drop it. <laughs> it's plastic. And it was only $3. And then they had these beautiful pumpkins, you guys. Now, this is my speed right here. This is my decor style all about the happy little pumpkins and they had an opening at the bottom so these would be gorgeous if you put like a really bright puck light that's like remote accessible um underneath it oh i think it would be so gorgeous on a mantle and they had the two sizes the smaller one was 25 dollars but you guys do you remember in the dollar spot where they had the amber glass pumpkins in the previous video that i showed you guys for fall well, now they have a bigger version for Threshold, you guys. I'm going to have to get this. It was only $15, and it would go perfectly with the ones from the dollar spot. And then they had these mushrooms that are gorgeous. I love the texture on there. It's $10 for the bigger one. And then they have the little baby one, and it's $5. Those were so cute. of the potted plants were so pretty and then they also had bigger glass pumpkins as well and more of the lighter colors for fall 
so many of the blankets and pillows that they had you guys but the one that caught my eye was this pumpkin pillow and it was at a good good price of $25 you guys you know if you try to get this off of Pottery Barn it's gonna cost you like a good 50 bucks or 60 bucks or whatever so this was so pretty and I just can't wait to come back and show you guys all of the rest of the things that they're going to be putting out for fall this year and Halloween in the Threshold Collection. But that's going to be it for this video, you guys. But if you can't get enough of shopping with me, you can go ahead and watch this video right here. Hey, you going nowhere special, just going to the store. I think I'd have it all, tell you why I'd be more.